Hey guys, we're going to be getting into this stream, and uh, let's see here, visual aid for the interview, that's a good idea. Uh, I just started streaming. Alright guys, we're going to get into this, about to get uh, on the call with Camcord Greg. We're going to be doing an interview with Camcord Greg in just a couple minutes here. Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, nice to have you here, Sasha Blue Rose and Joshua Alver Alvarez. Uh, I'm about to give uh, <clears throat> Mr. Camcord Greg a call. Okay. Um, okay, Camcord Greg's about to come in the uh, stream here, and then we'll get this going. Uh, what's up, Lord? And okay, let me go ahead and pull up the chat on my computer in just a second so I don't have to open it on my uh, tablet okay there we go got that going and then we'll have this going and this is gonna be a VOD I'm gonna be putting this on YouTube um, after the, the stream is over and uh, Taco Bell what's up Lord nice to have you in the stream everyone else uh, we're gonna be getting this going pretty quickly here Nice to have everyone just waiting for camcord Greg to arrive and he's gonna be giving us a call soon here So we will be talking to mr. Camcord Greg very very shortly here uh, Let's go ahead and turn what turn that off. There we go um, Let's see here. We got a uh, Bubba nice to have you here anybody that hasn't followed. Please do about to get started It is uh, 659 he is not on call yet, but he will be he said he was going to get into the stream soon here, and then he was going to give uh, give a call. So we're going to be getting this going. Hey, what's going on? Nice to have you in the stream. Interesting name, to say the least. Um, got lots of questions to ask Camcord Greg. A lot of the same type of questions, but a couple of ones specifically for Camcord Greg. And uh, we'll be getting this going. Car 27C, nice to have you in the stream. How's it going, guys? I guess we can put on some music until while we wait. Big Buck, Big Bang Theory of Clan Street, and I'm bored. LL Bro, I know. I just don't like it later. Uh, later night. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say there. I got a few uh, Camcord Greg pictures. We're gonna be showing off throughout the stream. Those are all the ones that we have. I'm showing them off, so I guess, I guess I didn't need to show them off all at once there, but they'll be uh, back and forth between all the different pictures as we go through this stream. Fire Lord, think of the share of your 113 followers. Let's see, is Camcord Greg in the stream yet? No. CG Tay, nice to have you in the stream. Still waiting on Camcord Greg. He is a minute late already. Shame on Mr. Camcord Greg. Kind of, uh, I guess we'll put on some music until we, while we wait. Sasha, thank you for the share of your 52 followers. Really appreciate that. There we go. What's going on, Mr. Camcord hey, Greg? Yeah. Hey there, buddy. Can you hear me okay? Hey, it sounds super far away. There's like some kind of static happening. Uh, how about now? No. Still sounds bad? Yeah, it almost sounds like it's raining. Weird. Okay, let me see if I can fix that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, recording devices. I love when we have issues like this. Uh, let me go ahead and properties levels. Uh, that should be DC offset cancellation. Uh, oh, that's a little better. That's that's better? How about uh, now? Yeah, it's still background noise, but I can hear you more clearly. Oh yeah, it's, 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 it's got you on here. I'm hoping uh, I have... How I have to do this is I have to do the vo uh, the, the volume through the, the sound on there, and then um, and then I have uh, it through here, so it's, you know, I, I apologize for the kind of not the best setup in the world, but uh, that is why um, it is that way. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we do have everyone on the stream now, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into some questions. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. And can everyone hear Greg okay? That's what I'm gonna need to know. Can you hear me? Okay, try again. Let me go ahead and turn now, it off. Now, you're saying no? No escape? Stop. I don't know what Jackson's saying here. What, what are you saying, Jackson? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused, too. I don't even know what they're trying to say. What's up, my Can oh. you guys? Can you guys hear us? Yes, we can hear Greg. Okay, thank you, Sasha. All right, is it is it clear enough for you guys? How's it? How's the uh, the the mix? Is it all right? Oh, uh, he he was just giving us a hard time. Okay, let's get into this. All right, Greg. So I do have a lot of questions to ask you, but it's probably we can get through this in an hour. Hopefully, you have enough time for an hour stream. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so um, a couple questions. Um, how long have you been with Camcord? Uh, I've been with Camcord uh, a little over a year and a half now, like a year and three quarters. I started January 2015. Um, what is what is your what do you actually like do at Camcord? What is your, your job description? So I am the community builder. I'm basically the head of community for Camcord. Uh, I answer directly to Camcord's founders, and anything that has to do with um, viewers, streamers, video creators, um, you know, uh, big spenders, DMCA slash copyright stuff. Um, basically, anything to do with you guys, the partner program now, or most of the partner program, all comes through me. Um, and I manage the moderation team and uh, answer support emails and that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm wearing a lot of hats. Um, pretty much anything that touches you guys that isn't like actually baked into the product is probably coming through me or related to me somehow. Wow, it sounds like you would do a lot for Camcord. Yeah. Um, I went on vacation last year. It took... Uh, three people, four people to do what I was doing, uh, split out, and uh, you know, that was just like keeping things afloat for a week or two while I was gone. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, how did Camcord start? So Camcord started back in 2012, and that was when we were a SDK clip sharing company which to break that down, basically we had a program that uh, folks that made video games could put into their game that would allow people to record and share like level replays and things like that. Yeah, kind of like, uh, like what the PewDiePie game did because they had that record option. Sure, and a bunch of things are doing it now. Back in 2012, it was cutting edge. Yeah. Um, and they did that for a while. I don't know exactly when things really took off, um, but they were working on it, they were working on it, they started building the community website around it. And then um, in 2014, I think we got put into My Talking Tom and My Talking Angela, which were like huge, huge games. I think they are still huge. They were huge for us in terms of getting more people on Camcord. Um and then we started opening things up shortly after I got there to allow people to upload videos through the website. So now uh, people could download their clips and then edit them together for like montages and, and music videos and stuff. Did some really awesome stuff, particularly in the TrueScape community. Uh, and then we we're like, okay, well, this is great. Like, what's the next step of like not having to? Uh, wait for these developers to put us into their games because people could upload videos from any game they wanted. Like, oh, well, let's let's try the live streaming thing. So then we tried live streaming. It went really well. We stopped doing the SDK stuff entirely. Then we stopped doing recorded video entirely. Then we stopped doing video uploads entirely. 
and now we're doing live streaming and actually we're getting back into recorded video with these short form videos that got added to the app recently what happened to the um to the edits because I, I i did read about that in an article from a long time ago uh why did they just decide to do away with that uh mostly for simplicity's sake um while the the content was really cool a lot of people just weren't watching it compared to streams and by removing that option from the website we could like cut an entire step from someone getting on the camcord and going live like rather than click a drop down and then have to decide whether they want to go live or upload the video like now they just clicked go live and they were just there and could get set up and go yeah that makes, um, that makes sense so yeah it, it was just like not a lot of people were watching it and it, it for the people that did want to do the thing that people wanted to watch like we decided oh, it'll just be simpler to do it this way yeah. Um, that's kind of the way things happen with Camcord a lot. We'll figure out what we want to optimize for, like what's going to be the best thing for us. And then they're, they're pretty ruthless with like cutting out everything that doesn't have to do with that so that we can give users, the, the most users, the best experience possible. That makes sense. Um, so we do have a couple questions on here. I pretty much know the answers, but we'll go ahead and answer a couple user questions. One uh, one user is asking, is Greg the owner of Camcord? Uh, no, the owners of Camcord are Kevin, Adi, and Matt, our founders. The K, A, and N in Camcord. Uh, I work with Kevin mostly. He's like my boss. Um, but I sit behind Matt, and Adi used to be my boss back in the day. So I've gotten uh, gotten to work with all three of Camcord's owners. They're pretty awesome guys. That's crazy. I was always wondering why it was called Camcord. Well, they wanted to do like something like Record, and they were just like, oh, let's throw our names in there somehow. Uh, that, I, and I kind of like it. I think it works. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's that's nice to know, actually. Um, so uh, another question we had was, how does the partnership work? Uh, might have to be a little more specific. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, I guess at like the highest possible level, um, people that prove that they can build a following on Camcord and make really great content, people that we want to work with, uh, we have a partnership offer to them through the website, camcord.com slash partner. They meet the requirements, they can apply, they get approved. And it allows them to share revenue with Camcord from the gem system, and it also gives them a badge and uh, gives them like higher priority access to us and support things like that. Will I ever get my T-shirt, Camcord, Greg? I can't even hear you. I said, um, will I ever get my T-shirt, Camcord, Greg? <laughs> uh, I did want to send one to you, I think, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it went to my old address. I never got uh, one, but... Yeah, it did, dude. Yeah, it probably went to my wife's house, and she never gave it to me, my ex-wife, you know? Ah. Yeah, she probably threw it I, away. Unfortunately, I'm out of shirts, so... I don't know if you can, like, uh, steal it back from her. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to have to ask her if it ever came. Um, okay, there was another question... I don't really want it. Uh, let me see. Um, no, we're, we're, Josh Alvarez is a thirsty motherfucker. I'll tell you that. <laughs> who is? What is? Josh Alvarez. He's like, can I apply for a partnership? Will I get accepted or not? Can oh I apply for my a god! Yeah, totally. Get accepted? <laughs> yeah, you just no. Get... <laughs> just go to Camcorder.com slash partner. Look at the requirements. You do not meet them. I can tell because you only have a hundred followers. Uh, wait till you get like two thousand. Stream at least six hours a month, and we'll talk. Exactly, yep, yep. And by talk, I mean I'm not going to talk to you. Just fly through the website. You either get approved or you won't, but based on whether or not you meet the requirements or not. Yeah, exactly. I had to I had to work my butt up to 2,000 followers, and I waited until I was 2,000 to apply. Can't hear you, Leon. Yep. All right, you got to put the time in. You got to put the effort in, guys. That's what that's what you got to do. You got to just stream, and you got to do shots. That's what you got to do, guys. Okay, so what is the craziest thing you have ever seen on a camcord stream? I'm just curious. 
the craziest thing I've ever seen? Like fun crazy or like the worst thing? Uh, I, I guess both. Why not both? Uh, the worst thing I've ever had to deal with um, was we had like a like a, a pornographic incident involving a child. That was pretty fucked up. Oh my god, that would be fucked up. Excuse my language, but uh, the man. craziest thing, like fun wise. Uh, probably Jace's stream where he got like 117 mega stars. That was pretty wild. Holy sh! Wow, I haven't even got my first mega yet. <laughs> Still can't hear you, Leon. You gotta come back to the mic. Oh, sorry. I said uh, I haven't even got my first uh, mega star yet. That's nuts. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I saw people get a lot of megas, but never anything like that. And his reactions are like crazy. Like he's like bouncing all over his room. Wow. That's awesome. Um, do you plan to work for Camcord for the rest of your life? For the rest of my life? Yeah, is there uh, any other jobs that you have in mind than just Camcord? Do you plan on pursuing this, you know, for like ever? Um, at, you know, at some point I'd like to go into business for myself doing something. I, I haven't quite narrowed it down. I think a lot of it will be, you know, a little dependent on my, my means and resources. Um, but I, I would like to to do a couple things before I pass on, you know. Uh, I really like working for Camford, though, and I, I don't have any plans to leave anytime soon. But it's definitely, like, I don't think the job I'm going to have, like, 20 or 30 years from now. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. But it's, it's, it's it seems like it'd be a pretty awesome job to do for now, that's for sure. Oh, it's, it's great. Uh, and I, like I said, I... If you ask me, like, what would you be doing right now if you weren't doing camcorder, I really wouldn't have a good answer for you. So, it's just one of those things. Like, would I eventually like to, to do something else? Yeah, probably. Um, and I'm not really on a rush to leave. I'm put it like that. It's a really good job. Yeah, yeah. I understand what you mean. Uh, so, um, what do you think, like, overall, what are Camcord's um, overall goals? Uh, well, I think Camcord wants to be, like, a massive, massive site, like, like a huge success. And it's, I guess, maybe kind of obvious, but some people, I think, forget that, you know, having uh, even a million people in a given month is, like, not, it's not enough for us. We want, we want more than as many people as possible to be on Camcord. Basically, everybody with a mobile phone, theoretically, should be on Camcord. Um, so we want to, you know, have that, that appeal uh, we see everyone that has a smartphone as a potential Camcord member of our community. And we, we want to build the platform, build the product, build the tool, build the community that is going to appeal to those people and get them on here. And whatever we got to do to get there, if it's, you know, you know we tried doing just gaming live streams, and, and you know, that had taken us some of the way there, but not all the way, so we expanded it out and I think you're going to see Camcord continuing to expand to try to appeal to everyone that we feel should be on here. I know what you mean. Yeah, exactly. Um, the the only okay, there's one question I wanted to ask, um, and and it was a question in the stream. Um, I'm guess I, I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but uh, when is Camcord going to start enabling monetization for partners, which it pretty much already is enabled since we have the star system. But I'm thinking he means like through ads. Oh, through ads? Well, I have no idea. Mo enabling monetization for partners, that's been in since, like, January, I think, um, with the star system. That's how partners make money on Camcord. Um, as far as, like, money out of nowhere stuff, I, I would hold your breath on that one. No. <laughs> no, I think he means, like, money from getting, um, you know, having ads played like uh, Twitch does. Uh, probably not until we have a lot more people on Camcord. Um, Twitch is like 10 times bigger than we are, so the, when they get ads, they're actually able to command a meaningful price. Uh, whereas right now, you know, Camcord doesn't have a lot of buying power in the ad space. So we need to grow before we can add something like that and have it be meaningful for streamers. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. Yeah, I, I, that's exactly what I thought you were going to say, but I thought I'd go ahead and add, ask them for then. Um, I mean, we, we definitely want to add it. We definitely want to put ads in. Um, 
you know, even if just for ourselves and not you guys, fuck you guys. <laughs> you want some mad money too, you know what I'm saying? Oh, totally. Um, but in terms of like money. the platform, there are so many things that we need to do before that, and so many, so many more people that need to be here for that to be impactful. That it's just not something we're thinking about in the near term. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking. Um, okay, so this is, can't hear you. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a better mic. That's that's the only thing that, that that's all there is to it. Um, so what do you think of the camcord shots, in your personal opinion? Uh, I'm actually a pretty big fan. Uh, I was, I'll be honest with everybody, I was a little skeptical of it when we first started building it and testing it. Um, you know, it was, it was okay, but I wasn't really feeling it too much. And then it got put out into the live version of the camcord site, and I did my first shot where I was like, I felt like I was talking to the people that followed me. And that's when it really hit me. That's when I made that personal connection with it. Like, oh man, this could actually be really big. And then I walked like five more minutes and I ran into these people that were like running around on their phones and like doing stuff. And I was like, oh man, like this, this app could be on every phone in the country. And maybe it will be. I think that'd be great. Um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of shots. Yeah, I, I think I, these short videos are awesome. It's it's like Twitter to the next level. It's like video Twitter. Yeah, and I'm really high on it. In in my opinion, it's a lot like vines are, but um, different at the same time. Yeah, I, I mean, I was never that into vines, but I think this is like because they're not like quick cuts. You know, it's it's a bit extended. You know, you can talk for fifteen seconds about a thing, or you react to something on your phone, or mess around with the camera, there's a lot you can do there. And I don't know, it, it appeals to me even more than Vines did, although I do like watching Vine compilations. I would never sit down and watch like a Vine, you know. I would never browse the Vine website to look for stuff. Yeah, I never... But I pop on Camcord to see what's, you know, like what the latest people are doing. Yeah, I, I've never been into Vines either. And it's, uh, yeah, uh, Instagram has those, well, I think they have longer videos now too, but they had the 15 yeah. seconds for a while. But I, I myself, I think once, um, if, if people do like shots that are like oriented towards what they stream, I think that's, I, I, I would like to see more shots like that, like shots that are more oriented to w what exactly they stream. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think the key is like it's versatile. Um, it's a tool for you to do a lot of stuff. You can take your last stream and like pick out the moment that you got a mega star and highlight that you know your first mega you can make a shot about that you can make a shot about the next stream that you're about to do you can make a shot about a contest or you could do something totally unrelated to your streams and just share something to your followers that's happening to you or what you think about something that you just saw um you know and, and any range in that i've seen people that aren't really into streaming are doing shots now because, I don't know, they, they just like it better, there's less pressure on them, um, they like the format. You got, they're not doing anything that's related to streams. You've got streamers that aren't doing anything related to streams. And you've got streamers that are doing only stuff related to their streams. I don't think there's any right or wrong answer there. It's, it's a tool for you guys to use to create stuff that's different from live streams but still, you know, still mobile content, still awesome. And I think it gives you a way to, to reach out to your followers in between these long broadcasts when you don't have time, or maybe they don't have time to, to uh, you know, you don't have time to sit down and make it. They might not have time to sit down and watch all of it, but you can do these short bursts to them and still keep up that connection in a way you weren't really able to do on Camcord before. Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really starting to like shots. It's kind of like the hashtag system. With the hashtag system, I didn't really like it that much at first, but then it really grew on me, and I really loved it. So I think that's what shots are really starting to do, um, in my opinion. There's some that are just really awesome, and then there's a lot that I'm just like, oh, man, really? Um, 
Well, not everything can be a home run. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There are a lot of boring ass live streams on this website too. Believe me. Yep. Um. So I I seen that the the Camcord has got uh, another round of investors. What is Camcord gonna be doing for Time Warner for the uh, the money that they put into Camcord? Um, I, I don't really think our investing quite works that way. It's not that they uh, they invest in us to go build or do a particular uh, feature or thing. Um, we show them like the way things work out here. Like you show people your growth. You show people like. Uh, here are the engineers we have, here's their background, like, we've gone from X number of employees to this larger number of employees, you know, and this is what our vision for the company is, our vision for the future is, and, you know, here's how we're going to get there, and if they believe you, and they think that you're going to make a lot of money once you get there, then they'll invest in you. Um, I, I don't know the time. I, I don't even think we were thinking about these short videos when that round of investment was happening. So I think that was pretty much just all in the growth of like the opening it up to um, non-gaming streams and like putting, like you said, putting in the hashtags and orienting people around that. You know, we grew pretty significantly off the back of that. So um, I'm not involved at all in fundraising, but um, you know, I think that you know. Certainly, if I was looking at that graph, I'd be like, really? <laughs> that's, that's very interesting. And how many zeros can I put on this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I know what you mean by that because, um, yeah, I think Camcord, uh, it, especially with investors, they can see exactly, you know, what kind of investment they're going to get back by, like, an app. And Camcord, to me, really has a lot of potential to really get somewhere. Yeah, I think so. I mean, and having worked with these guys, like the guys that work on Camcord, like all the people that build the product, um, the owners of the company have like a really amazing vision for it. Um, they're just really, everybody here is just really good at what they do. I have a lot of confidence that if Camcord sets its mind to something, it's going to be able to go out there and do it. Um, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're not big enough to set our mind to like two or three things at once. Um but if we figure out that thing that we want to go do, like, it goes out and it gets crushed, baby. That's oh, yeah. That's just the way we do it out here. I, I really think uh, Camcord has done some awesome things. Like, I got in, I, I was totally hoping for a uh, an app like this, like, back when I was playing, like, uh, Madden Mobile, like, probably three years ago. And I was like, man, I wish I could do this on YouTube. And then, like, I saw Camcord come out, and I'm like, this is awesome. Okay, so, um, um, Another question that goes along with that one, how does, if you can even say any of this, if you can't, just say you can't answer, but um, how does Camcord um, plan on spending the investment money, or do they even plan on spending any of that? Uh, I can't really answer that in any great detail, but I will say that like a business like Camcord takes a lot of money to run. you got to pay everybody, you got to keep the servers open. Um, you know, we have an office in America, we have an office in Japan, we have an office in Seoul. Um, so, you know, they're, they're expenses. <laughs> um, and uh, we also do, of course, spend money to grow the platform, uh, advertising, uh, signing partners to bring their, uh, signing partners off the site to bring their followings here. That's been a very effective way for Camcord to grow, so we keep doing that. Um, but, I mean, beyond that, I don't really want to get into it. Uh, I don't think there's anything. There's no, like, bronze statue or anything that we're going to be sinking a lot of money into or anything like that. <laughs> well, that totally makes sense. Yeah, um, I was thinking maybe that y you guys would be uh, trying to pull in, you know, uh, YouTubers or, you know, Twitchers or et cetera. Um, I don't know. Oh, if yeah. I mean, we've pulled in some... Uh, uh, some of the uh, short videos you're seeing are from Instagrammers. Um, we are starting to experiment with Instagram as a way to potentially get more eyes on Camcord. YouTube has been very, very good for us. I think we're going to keep doing that. Uh, right now, Camcord is not expanding super aggressively because, quite frankly, we're, 
uh, while the latest update that put the short videos in, the shots in, was, was cool. It doesn't exactly look, uh, you know, doesn't exactly look quite polished yet. We, we know that. Uh, we just wanted to get something out there as quickly as possible and, you know, put it into the hands of the community and see what they did with it. Um, but we've got uh, a completely new look at our navigation. Um, up the, I don't want to get into too much, but uh, there's a lot of great features that are coming in our next release, and I think uh, once that release gets out there, I think you'll see Camcord uh, looking to promote and expand itself more aggressively. Yeah, that's that that that's always good. Um, oh, what was I? <laughs> Got lost here. Sorry about that. Um, so, how long do you think it will take for Camcord to really get to where they're they're hoping to to get to? Uh, yeah, I really don't know. Um, I think it's one of those things that that depends on so many factors. It's a little difficult to predict. It's uh, you know, we we seem to grow pretty substantially at a pretty regular rate. Um, but I I don't wanna I don't wanna put any any timetable on that. I yes. think the the key is to just keep growing and keep going in the right direction. And then when we get there, we get there. Um, and I think we're we've been growing really well. Um, so it's just up to up to us to keep that up at the end of the day. And then I think as more people find out about cancer, more people will want to be here. So it's kind of a a self reinforcing thing. If we're growing and people are talking about us, and you guys are sharing your streams to your friends and, and sharing them on on social networks and forums and stuff, more people are going to be willing to come here and try it out. Um, more people are going to want to create shots. And those people are going to share those shots to their friends and their families. So, you know, there's really, it's really in everybody's interest, I think, to keep Canco growing. And, you know, I, I don't think we'll ever really be, like, happy, quote-unquote, with, with a given number until we're, like, maybe facebook size. Then we'll go, okay, relax. But there's like so much room between there, here and there, that like we're never going to be happy with, you know. Which I don't think there's any going to be like a time two or three years from now where we go, you know, we have enough users, we, we have enough people in the community. Let's 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 just chill. Let's not even worry about that. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Yeah, that's that's kind of like uh, the American dream. It's it's always the pursuit of happiness. You're never just happy with where you're at. You got to get a little bit better. You got to grow a little bit more. Yeah, and I mean, streamers will identify with this. If you're if you're happy with where you're at and you don't do anything to keep yourself growing, well, eventually people will overtake you, or you'll just you know start slide, sliding off. You can't rest on your laurels. You can't rest on your success. You always have to stay hungry. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's see here. Let's go back a little ways. Um, okay, so. Do you have a? I, I I don't think so. I'm get. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're pretty busy with Camcord. But do you have any uh, uh, another job besides Camcord? Is Camcord your only job? Yeah, Camcord's my only job. I work like 65 to 70 hours a week. I'm good. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, uh, I run a podcast um, on my own time, but that's like an every other week on the weekends kind of thing. I don't I don't put nearly as much time into it as I used to back in the day. Well, they just don't have the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... And I, I, in vain, in vain, trying to get out of gold in League of Legends and get to plat before the end of the season, which is not going to happen. I'm still trying. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you're freaking busy with this. Um, okay, so we do have one question, um, which I forgot to, to ask until now. Uh, somebody uh, asked, okay, some partners that haven't been on in months still have the partnership. I wonder, does Camcord have to wait a, one year to take it away, or how long does it, it take before a partner gets their partnership taken away for not streaming? Uh, we usually do not like be real active about removing partnerships for people that just stop streaming, because uh, it really doesn't do anyone any harm to keep them. Uh, I don't think that will be the case forever. It's just one of those things where it has to be somebody's job then to go check to see if everyone is 
streaming a lot and then send out notices to them and so on and so forth. And basically that would be my job. <laughs> it's just not, uh, it's not really fun of mine for me right now. Although I could, you know, I could see at some point, uh, maybe in actually the not too distant future where maybe we do take a harder stance on that. But for right now, it's not hurting anything and it's more work than not to do it. So, so it's just one of those things like, it's just not a, a big priority for us right now to, to be on top of people like that. Yeah, that's, that's but, totally... And some partners, if they want to stream or not, you know, the more they stream, the more money they're going to be able to make. Uh, if that doesn't motivate them, then okay. Um, yeah. If they decide they like money again. Yeah, totally. Yep, yep, I totally know <laughs> what you mean. If you're not streaming, you're not making any money if you're a partner, that's for sure. No, and you're not costing Camcord anything to remain a partner, so it's... It's one of those things where we just haven't really sat down and go, you know, we need to clean this out yet. And the program hasn't even been active for a full year, so. Yeah, um, so. Uh, it's still early days. Is, uh, is, is, if, if you can uh, um, answer this, uh, is, is Camcord um, already seeing a profit, or do they have a, a ways to go before they, they start seeing a profit? Uh I don't know if I can really go into details, but you know we're not we're not making tons of money. Um, it's it's really just about growing at this point. That's the way all startup businesses are. You know, you don't make money in a, in this kind of business really early until you have lots of users, and that's why the whole venture capitalism thing exists for startup companies. They're investing in the concept that you will get big and you will make a lot of money. But the whole reason that they need to invest is because you can't just turn a profit right away. So, and that's not just with Camcord. I think that's with pretty much every startup ever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and if, especially if you don't have money to start with, there's just no way you're going to make it a lot of times. And 90% of almost all companies fell, at least in the U.S., that I, that I think that's about the right number. And even if the ones that succeed, you know, you, you've got your startup cost where you need to... If you're doing brick and mortar, you know, you got to invest in your building, you got to invest in your inventory, you got to invest in your personnel. Like, if you're starting a restaurant, you're probably not making, not really making profit for a while. You know, you've got costs and investment that need to be paid off. Um, the way it'll work for, for startups is that they're venture capitalists in San Francisco, and they're looking to invest in promising companies. And when they find one, they'll put, like, couple million dollars into it and then you then that have that couple million dollars to go okay what's like the most promising returns we can get for that um and that's why you'll have companies like camcord did we just got another round of investment from time warner you know we're not necessarily looking to like charge people a monthly fee for camcord or you know uh sell things in that way we sell gems obviously but that's not like a huge business thing um so we're not at this point looking at the amount of money we're making as the indicator of success it's really just about the growth you know how how much can we bring to camcord in terms of a better platform and a better product and how many people can we bring on the camcord to use that platform and product how is how is the growth coming on camcord uh, I'm pleased. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's one of those things I can't really like discuss, but going in the right direction, I would say. Uh, like I said, we're we're not pushing as hard right now as we normally would be because we want to get the the apps into a better place with these shots videos. Get them uh, pretty much like we have our live streams. You know, we put a lot of work into live streaming to get it to where it is right now. Um, we want to need to. We want to put in a similar amount of polish and love into these shorter videos um, before we really like go all out. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, That's yeah. it. I mean, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit. Obviously, you can't can't ever stop stop. But like, we're not gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah, you you want to polish your product and make sure that you've got like a really good. Uh, thing going, especially if you got something new before you start really promoting that. I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, you don't want uh, 
there's something to be said for like trying something and learning from it and then making it better rather than just assuming that you you have it right the absolute first time and blow your first impression on people for something that might not be right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we wanted to put this in the community's hands as quickly as possible and go, okay, like, what are people doing with this? Um, what feedback are they getting? Are we getting about the product and about the layout and, and all this stuff? And what do we need to do to get it from like, okay, we just put this thing out to, wow, if someone looks at our app and looks at these videos and are just totally blown away, that's what we're going for. We want people to be blown away by the within like the first 10 to 15 seconds of seeing Camcord. And uh, that's sort of the, the thing that we're going for. We think we've got a really awesome update coming out next. Like I said, I'm personally really happy about it. Um, I think it's going to be great. That's good. I'm really looking forward to uh, the new update that you were talking about with uh, the, the layout changes and stuff. Okay, so uh, what is your favorite mobile game? Do you do mobile gaming? Um, I, I haven't really seen too much mobile game on your stream, but I think I have a little bit. I think I've seen you play Clash Royale, but what would be your favorite uh, your favorite mobile game? Uh, so Royale is my favorite for a while. Um, I've kind of gotten to that. I've gotten a little bored with it. I actually uninstalled it this morning. So it's just flat, not fun anymore. Um, too repetitive. What is that? Yeah, I think it is pretty uh, pretty repetitive at times. That's that's for sure. I, I think there's like no stages that are really any different because they're all laid out the same way on, on Clash Royale. That's my yeah. Opinion. Like you go from like the Builder Arena to the Royal Arena or whatever. It's the same thing. It's just different skin. Yeah, I know. Yep, yep. I put that on uh, my my Google Play App Store um, review of it. I actually put that. So right now my, my favorite game is actually Game of Dice. That's one that stuck with me for a little bit. I found it after Royale, so who knows, maybe I'll get sick of that too, but um, it's kind of cool. It's it's like, if you haven't played it before, it's like Monopoly meets Nightmare Chess with like an anime theme to it, an anime aesthetic. Oh, that's pretty cool. Has a... Uh... I'm gonna have to try that. Has Camcord ever thought about doing featured like apps where they actually um, charge a um, app creator to have a featured app? It would be a special hashtag, um, and then everyone would play it because it would be like the top of Camcord. Have they, have they thought of doing something like that before? It's one of those things that we kicked around and discussed, but I think the reality is there's just not enough. Like, right now, Camcord is at the level, like, where we would, we would probably be more likely to pay, say, Supercell to to feature us in their game rather than the other way around. Because we're just not, we're just not big enough yet. It's still a young company. We've only been live streaming for a year and a month or so. That makes sense. I, I think for only a year, Camcord has grown a, a pretty good amount. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, for one year... Dude, I, we've come so far so quickly. I think a lot of people, uh, a lot of streamers don't quite, like, have that perspective of, like, they look at Twitch and they see something that's already been in place for, like, 10 years, 15 years. Twitch has been around for a long time. You know, and they've, they've built their audience, they've built their product and their platform over those years just doing that. You know, Camcord's been around since 2012. But we were only doing live streaming like a year and a month ago. Like, yeah, give us five years and then see <laughs> see how much people like Twitch better. <laughs> yeah. You know, like to, to get as, as far as we've gotten in such a quick amount of time with such a small company, yeah, I, I really think it speaks volumes to just how effective Camcord is at going out there and hitting the goals that it sets for itself. I, I myself am, am not that big, that much of a fan of Twitch. Um, I I uh, I'm a very big. Fan. I've done Twitch before, but I've uh, a long a long time ago. And uh, I, as soon as I got onto Camcord, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be doing this like all the time. I, I did a few hours on Twitch, and then once I got onto Camcord, I instantly became hooked, and I'm like, this is awesome. Sweet. 
Okay, so uh, do you have any talents, um, like, like for example, musical instruments, singing, dancing, uh, I don't know, excessive drinking? <laughs> um, no, I'm actually, I guess, pretty talentless, now that you think about it. Um, I can't play any instrument. Uh, I used to sing when I was younger. I still like to sing, but my voice doesn't really agree with it. Um, I was a good actor when I was little, but I haven't kept up with that. Um, I was really good at uh, at sports stuff when I was in college, um, but I haven't really kept up with that either. I'm not too good at games. Uh, <laughs> I'm better than some, but not nearly as good as I'd like to be, and put it like that. Um, so, no, nothing, nothing like uh, like uh, like trick wise or music wise. So, so you wouldn't do like a, a karaoke stream, or have you before? Oh, I would absolutely do a karaoke stream, but I don't guarantee people would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would watch it. That'd be awesome. Okay. So they, they might watch it for the, the in like the sense that you can't look away from a train wreck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Just like Stephen King books, and that's that's you know that's that's why he says that his books are so popular. Um, so uh, I I know you don't stream um, very often, but have you done a, a, a very long stream before? Uh, a very long stream. Not like not like you guys are doing, like the board generals of the world. Um, I think the longest stream I've ever done was maybe. Four hours, I want to say. That sounds about right. That's still a pretty good amount of time. Um, I think my longest stream was was 15 hours, but uh, um, that's it's really draining. I, I I can't I can't even understand how some of these guys can go like 50 hours or 60 hours. It's just it, it just seems too draining to me. Yeah, like I couldn't imagine streaming that long on my phone only. Like that would be crazy. If I was on my computer. You know, I, I could play, like, without complaining, League of Legends for, like, 15 hours. But there's no way, like, I would have the audience to do that, to, like, keep up the, the energy and engagement side of things, uh, which, you, which you need. You need people to, like, bring that energy in the chat to, to be successful if no one's in there talking to you. Yes, you don't fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Like, I, I, that's why I like uh, Camcord a lot because there's a lot of mobile games. It's really easy to talk to your audience with, but like when I go on Twitch, it's so boring to me sometimes because you know maybe some of these people are like really super good gamers, but and, and some of the gameplay is awesome. But you're not really going there for some of the the people that do Twitch. Um, on Camcord, almost every single streamer I watch, I'm watching because of their personalities. I'm not watching because of the game. Yeah, I think on Twitch, um, just because of the size of it, people are people really go there to watch the personality on the camera and don't expect to interact with them at all. Yeah, exactly. Um, whereas on Camcord, some people tune in for the personality. I think a lot of people hang around because the streamers will actually like talk to you and, and engage with the chat. Not all the time, obviously, but I think most streamers fall into that category. Like if you say hi to them or you, you shout them out or you ask them a question, I think you're much more likely to to get that response and get that engagement from the person you're watching on Camcord than to do so on Twitch. Like when you're playing League, for instance, which you I mean Twitch is the place to do that, like you're not looking away from your screen to talk to your chat. Most people aren't. And the the big guys, like the pro players, they definitely aren't. Yeah, so exactly. you can go to watch them, but they're never going to say hi to you. They're never going to like answer your question. You can ask it a million times; it's not going to matter. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 my thing too. Um, so, and, and that, that's the thing about Camcord I love too. Like, for example, I think once I grow and you, you're like getting way too many like people in chat, I love how they added sh uh, the show supporter chat. So, like, the only way that you know you could get you know, if you got like an insanely busy stream, you put on show supporter chat, you're just going to be getting the people, a couple people, and they're usually the ones that you really want to talk to anyways. Yep, and to get into that supporter chat, it's just a star away. So if people really want to ask you a question, they can. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, what are your some of your favorite bands slash musicians? 
good question. Um, I really like Nightwish. Uh, that's my metal band of choice. Huh. Uh, on the ska front, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of bands that I like. Uh, Streetlight Manifesto comes to mind, um, but I also like some of the smaller bands. Um, Real, Big, Real Big Fish is, is popular. I think there are smaller bands that have even better sound than them. That's sort of what I, what I gravitate toward. Oh, nice. Uh, Ruben and You is, is probably my favorite of that bunch. Uh, and an old band that's, that broke up now, but SGR was really awesome. Um, I actually got to eat a cheesesteak with their bass player like years after the band collapsed. No, oh, that's so pretty awesome. Story. Yeah, I've got to meet a, a few bands myself, but uh, yeah, I haven't really got to eat food with a bandmate. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, and the best part of that is he invited me. It's like, oh shit, all right. Yeah, totally. That's that's like one of the things that I'm hoping to be able to do with uh, Camcord eventually is I really would love to be able to interview some of the, the bands that I just enjoy and I really love, and I'm hoping one of these days I'll be able to get there. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, you can like play their music in the background on like a streaming app of some kind while you're talking to them. That'd be amazing. Oh yeah, totally. I could totally do that too. Either either through the, the the streaming app or you know like anything. That would be that would be awesome, and I could help sell their products online or or whatever. And uh, I think it would be pretty freaking sweet. I'm hoping you know once I grow far, big enough that, that there's that ability to be able to do that. Yeah, I think that's a cool idea. Yeah. So uh, who is your favorite camcorder? If you uh, feel like saying who you enjoy the most? Maybe a couple, I don't know. No, it's, uh, everybody asks me this question, it's, it's literally impossible to pick. Uh, there's, there's too many. Um, I think my favorite, well, it, it would have to be like by the day, like, I don't know, I had a really awesome conversation with Farrah last night about something, so right now she's my favorite. But before that, it's like Mrs. Scoop. But before that, it's Four General. Before that, it's Carp Dan. Like, it rotates so quickly because I have really awesome interactions and experiences with, with a lot of people here. It's it's really hard for me to pick only one or even only five uh, favorite camcorders. Um, pretty much, I'd say at least three quarters of camcorder heroes. Like you could strap me in and I'd watch you for three or four hours, no problem. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good uh, good camcorders. Um, I, I really enjoyed. I, I don't know. I. I know. Uh, maybe I won't. Uh, I don't know. I, I enjoy a lot of really just interesting type of streamers. Like for example, like Flash Bashing. He's always like they, a lot of times you just can't look away from him. Like Spencer twenty three dollars, and uh, I don't know. There's some really good streamers on Camcord. We need to get uh, Peter seventeen dollars to stream on Camcord. That's what we need. <laughs> Who is that? No, you never heard of Peter seventeen dollars? No, I don't think so. He's uh, the arch rival of Galadon. Oh, nice. As he calls him Galadon. Galadon, <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Oh man, I want to do an interview with Galadon one of these days if I can get through to him to be able to do that. I think that'd be freaking awesome. Oh yeah, dude. He's such a nice guy. Like for real. He's, I mean, he's he's so big that I barely get to talk to him. But the few times that I have, I mean, he's just. Such a, a humble, mature, friendly, welcoming, just generally warm person. I uh, love Gallant on the death. Yeah, he seems pretty awesome. Um, oh, shoot. Um, how much time do you have? Because we're getting close to the hour. I have a lot more questions I could ask, but I know you probably are short on time, so I want to make sure that we're not, um, you know, if, if we got to wrap it up in an, in an hour... And um, I'll go ahead and ask only like a couple more questions. But if you do have more time, we can't. Like I, I have all kinds of questions I can still ask. I can give you like uh, up to another hour. But if if we can uh, if we can end before that, that'd be great. So I, I want to do a few more things before I get home. No, oh, yeah, that's that's totally fine. An hour. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. I don't even know if I have an, an hour's worth of questions. Uh, maybe. Um, oh, one one quick question. Did you ever share the stream, uh, Greg? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. No, nope. I'm terrible. There we go. <laughs> All right, hopefully we get a few more people in there here for the share. 
we got another hour to go then so that i was just thinking about that i'm like did cam cordreg actually share the stream um awesome there we I, go I, I didn't i'm a I'm bad i'm terrible uh, <laughs> no it's all good uh it looks like kkdd has a question i wonder what it's gonna be we'll see if it's any good um let's see greg always shares the mobile content what <laughs> Okay, well, Lisa's they're not... Uh, like all over the place today. Yeah. I've noticed you've been kind of all over the place on a couple different streams. I, I stopped by a couple of them really quickly, but uh, I've been uh, working on my own streaming today and other things. So uh, what I've been doing, and I don't mind talking about this, is uh, if they're making the rounds and some of the streamers I happen to know get a lot of trolls, and uh, I've been going through and systematically... Uh, mass suspending all the accounts connected to those troll accounts. Yeah, I, I figure that's what you were doing with the whole, like, uh, the, the, the ban hammer, because, yeah, I'm, I know that there has to be a, a massive amount of different people that do that, and they just create, like, well, massive right, here's accounts. another one. KKBK is ban evading. Later. <laughs> oh, my God, really? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Camcord Drake uh, strikes again. I'm going to these bands. Because so many of the people that I'm banning, dude, it's like the worst of the worst names you've ever seen. Oh, my uh, God. I've seen some pretty bad ones. And, like, the, I'd say the most shocking. Not well. Yes and no, the most shocking. There were three people responsible for about 3,000 accounts. Oh, my God. And uh, another two people for another thousand uh, together. So like five people for four thousand accounts. Those first three, I, I suspected one of them to be up to no good, but I could never really prove it. You know what I mean? And to finally have uncovered all the CD shit that they've been up to uh, after having them lie to my face for about a year, year and a half. Uh, that really set me off. So I went on a warpath with all these accounts. I got no sympathy. If, uh, if you created one of these names and you got banned, I do not care about you. I do not care if I hurt your feelings or I'm being mean or you only did it that one time, but I happen to know you did it like 60 times. Yeah. Uh, there, there's been a couple people like, oh, but, yeah, I, what if I... What if I just tell you, like, I only I made these three, and I go and look them up, and I'm like, mm, actually, you made about 65, 70, so you're lying to me even now. Forget you. You're done. That's like a big, like, 9,000 account chunk at a toxicity on Camcord. That's freaking nuts. I did not know it was that bad. I yeah, it's, it's been bad, I and mean, it's not like a high number of people, but it's a small number of people that are doing a lot of it. And I'm finally able to, to shut it down to stop it. So I, I don't know if um, you could answer this, but I'm guessing that might be one of the reasons why uh, Madden Mobile Patriot got banned from Camcord. Uh, no, he got banned for completely unrelated to that, uh, but he did make a couple of accounts to try to get back on, and I've now banned those too. Yeah, I was I was I was wondering because uh, you know he got banned and then Enrage got banned. And I was thinking maybe um, you know he was gonna get back on like Enrage did, but I'm guessing that you know he just tried pushing and and yeah, it just got him the permanent yeah. ban. So so here's the difference. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't you suspend this person or suspend this person? A lot of people are like, oh, why don't you suspend? Uh, yeah, why don't you, why don't you suspend people all the time? Like, well. I try not to make that the first thing that I do for people. And if it's possible for me to talk to them and like get them to stop without suspending them, then that's usually the way to go. So if I talk to you and I give you a warning or, or a timeout or a temp ban or something like that, and you turn things around and stop doing what you're doing, that's cool. I think that's a good win for everybody. Oh, yeah. If I give you a warning, a temp ban, or in uh, Madam Mobile's case, remove your partnership, and you flip out and go even worse than you were before, you're going to get banned permanently. And oh, that's yeah. the way it is. Yeah, that's, that's exactly like how I, I do it on my stream with, you know, users. Like, I'll give them a warning. I'll give them, like, even, like, four or five uh, timeouts. 
But if you're going to continue on with it after timeout, it's like continue to do the thing I told you not to do. You're going to get stream banned, and that's you know that's that's just what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, hey, stop uh, stop running into people's streams and harassing them. Yeah, exactly. No. Okay. Well, you can't be on camcorder anymore because there's really no middle ground there. Like, uh, don't do it. And if you stop doing it, you know, okay, we can move on. You can go about your life. I don't have to worry about you. If you refuse, then, and if you refuse and you keep on doing it, the only way for me to then stop you, because I obviously can't talk to you to get you to change your behavior, is to then do stuff to you, whether it's remove your partnership, suspend you temporarily, or suspend you permanently. Uh, in Madden Noble's case, he was warned. They ignored the warning, lost his partnership. After he lost his partnership, he, he flipped out and went full toxic. And that's when he got suspended. And his reaction to being suspended was to create more accounts to try to get around it. So now he's suspended permanently. Yeah, yeah. So enraged, ignored the warning, got suspended, apologized, realized he fucked up big time, and it was the first time he had really fucked up. So we gave him another chance. And that's the way that works. Like... The difference between the two was enraged with like, oh man, I really fucked up. I, I, I know what I was doing was wrong, and here's why. And I, I promise I'll never do it again, Greg. And like, and even beyond that, like he actually showed me like I understand why it was messed up to do what I did. I understand that I did something wrong. You know, if you gotta suspend me for a little while, that's cool. I would just like to come back eventually. And then P was like, fuck Camcord, they banned me for no reason. I'm like, all right, well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. You just can't be here. Like, yep, that makes sense. Has, we do not need you as much as you need us. So you can either play ball with Camcord and follow the community rules, or you don't have to stream here. Exactly. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. Yep, that that makes a hundred percent sense to me. Okay, so uh, what would you say to aspiring camcorders? Generally. Yeah, like generally, like, um, what would you say, like, um, like, on a positive note, like, what, what would you tell them to, like, how, how, how do you grow, or you know, like something positive, to, uh, for, um, you know, aspiring people that are wanting to start Camcord or wanting to get somewhere, like, for example, somebody that wants to get partnered but they only have a few followers. I'd say the biggest thing is don't give up. I think the, 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 one of the overarching themes of people I see that, that just fail out of streaming is they either give up entirely because they don't feel like they're getting as many viewers as they should have, or they get negative because they see other people that are ahead of them, like, quote, ahead of them, end quote, and then they stop improving themselves and focusing on their audience and start, like, attacking other people. Yeah. Neither of those two things is the way to go. The way to really grow is start streaming, stream a lot, uh, take every opportunity you have to put yourself in front of more people. If you're doing a stream, you need to be sharing it out everywhere you can. If you have 80 friends on Facebook, that's 80 more people than you have on Camcord. So go tell them what you're doing, when you're going to do it, get them to tune in. Uh, likewise on Twitter, likewise if you're part of a forum or a discussion group where you got friends at school that you think might watch, like they all play the same game you do or something. Um, do whatever it takes to, to get that initial audience. And then once you're there, don't give up. You know, If streaming alone is not going to be enough for you, like make some shots. Get Try to get featured. Get followers that way. But focus on your own game. Focus on how you can make your stream better, how you can get your stream in front of more people. Uh, focus on the people that do come and watch you, how to give them the best experience watching your content. Make sure you're talking to them. Make sure that you engage with them. The ultimate goal is to get them to check out your stream, and once they do, get them to follow you. And it doesn't matter, like, it, it's going to take a while. Well, two things. The one is going to take a while, and there's no shortcut. You just got to keep doing it. You got to want it enough. 
And the other thing is, it doesn't matter what somebody else is doing in their stream, because they're trying to do the same thing you're doing. Um, you know, if they're watching YouTube videos, don't go, man, let's fuck, fuck YouTube, fuck this guy, you know, he's not really doing what I'm doing. You know, because then you're taking your focus off of what I said, your stream, your growth, your viewers. Those are the things that are going to bring you the success. Trying to, like, be resentful of other people and take them down is not going to do you a damn bit of good. In fact, it's the opposite. What you should be doing is learning from other people and trying to network. Networking is huge in every walk of life. Streaming is no different. Um, Ray DeVito, I would tout him as the perfect example of this. Well, he's a comedian from New York City. He's got a small following on the internet, but nothing huge. Uh, he came in, he really loved Camcord, he wanted to be a success here. And he took the time to get to know all the other big streamers on the site and ask their advice, participate in their streams, so that when he went live, they would come in and share him. They would come in and watch him, and then people would come in to hang out with them. And he would learn how to do the best possible stream, learn how they were doing their overlays, learn how they were uh, using mobile apps to make the streams more exciting, things like that. Um, that's that's like that's an important part of it. Like, and if you're not doing these things, then you're not going to grow as much as people that are. And if you're not going to grow, it's going to be really, really hard for you to keep those spirits up. Yeah, and that totally makes sense. And I like those kind of things. Like, are, are things that I'm like, oh man, I totally like you. You, you totally. I, I wish I would have like talked to you about that before. Because it sounded like he he totally had a great idea with like when he did some kind of like interview stream he had some kind of app going along with uh, you know what he's doing on the interview um, I'll have to on new or like future interviews I'm totally gonna have to do something like that yeah I would say Ray and, and Kumquat are like the best at this that I've ever seen like as they're talking they'll pull up like. Twitter accounts and Instagram pictures and they'll Google for articles or Google for images to just like uh, either to like visually represent what's being talked about on the stream or to like spur discussion of something new. It's really cool the way they run their streams when they do that. Oh man, I'll have to, uh, I'll totally have to watch um, what that kind of thing more often. I need, I need to, you're giving me a lot of good tips actually like I know I've got uh, I, I came a decent amount on Camcord, but I've got a long way to go, and uh, I, a lot of these things are actually really good advice that I'm gonna have to uh, uh, use all of these these tips and you know make sure to you know do these kind of things because that a lot of those things are like a really really good idea in my opinion. Yeah, I think uh, if you want to do an interview type show, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do there. Uh, in terms of learning from other people, not even just on camcord, but if you wanted to take it next level and look at uh, other interview series on, on maybe YouTube or uh, look up sites like Mixergy, uh, which is an interview site, um, listen to podcasts and just figure out how to ask the best questions, the best follow-ups, the best format, what kind of guests work and don't work, and if a guest isn't working, like how do you save that show? Like, there's a lot of, of nuance there that um, I would say it's like, uh, it's not just the streaming level. I, I think, again, on Camcord, Kumquat and Ray DeVito uh, are, the best, um, are the best at doing this on Camcord, I feel. But off Camcord, like, interviews are a big content type, and I think you can learn a lot that you can then apply in the Camcord context. There's like a, a crossover aspect to it. Yeah, totally. Like, um, I'm gonna have to try that. Um, both in checking out, you know, other type of interview type things, but then also um, I'm gonna totally be watching some of the VODs from Kumquat, uh, skipping through them, seeing what she's doing. And Ray DeVito, I've watched a little bit of the streaming, but not uh, enough to know exactly what you're saying. So I'm gonna like after the stream, I actually plan on on watching uh, some of those uh, VODs. Um, so we got another question. What is your favorite console game of all time? Have you played much console? 
I, I used to be a big console gamer when I was growing up. That was basically all I played. Um, I fell out of it when I started getting into PC gaming because uh, it just didn't make a lot of sense to have the computer and be buying consoles when I could play all this cool stuff on the computer too. And my, my family is not, not wealthy by any means. Um, so I'd say best console game or favorite console game uh, probably like Sonic and Knuckles. I really like Sonic and Knuckles a lot. Nice, the 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 freaking Sega Sonic that was always cool. yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty much the entire Genesis Sega series, or oh. the entire Sega Genesis Sonic series, I was in for. Oh yeah, I totally was like really into uh, uh, Nintendo. Well, because I had a Nintendo, so I was like mainly into Mario and etc. But occasionally I'd get to go over to my cousin's house and I was like so impressed by the Sega compared to the Nintendo. In my opinion, the, the graphics and a lot of the gameplay were actually a lot better than Nintendo, even though Nintendo was a lot more popular. In terms of modern games, I guess uh, maybe Halo 2 would be my favorite console game. Oh yeah, the Halo series was always pretty fun. Uh, yeah, but... I, I haven't really played any of the later stuff, but Halo, Halo 2 I played. I'm guessing um, your favorite uh, PC game would be League of Legends, then? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Um, although it's, it's really up there with EVE Online. It's an MMO that I've been playing for a very long time. Um, lately, I've been playing more League than EVE, but I'm still very invested in the game. And I, I'd say on any given day, they're buying for my favorite PC game. Yeah, I, I, I probably would... Uh... Um, play like Vainglory, which in my opinion is pretty much like a knockoff of League of Legends, but um, it's just, it takes up too much space, and I only have like a ro uh, enough room for a few games on my tablet when my, my, my SD card went out but that I, I, that kind of defeats what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, I got you. But uh, yeah, Vainglory is, is, is a lot like League of Legends, and it's not bad, I kind of enjoy playing it, but yeah, it's just a huge, huge, um, huge game compared to a lot of other games. And plus, it just it, it legs out my stream. I don't know about other people's streams. Uh, yeah, I like it. Um, I don't have any lag issues when I'm playing it and streaming it because I'll do uh, on a tablet that's connected to a computer, and I'm streaming that way. I'm not doing it with the Camcord app. Yeah, I wish I could do that. I need to. I need to get a, a faster internet connection. I have a computer, but I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm going to up my internet as, as, as well as it can go um, for the area soon, and then I'm hoping that um, it can. my PC will be good enough for streaming on top of it, so hopefully we can. I can get a better stream going so I don't have to just stream from the Camcord app because that's you know, what I have to work with, so that's pretty much you know, how I've been streaming. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just glad that Camcord has the ability to be able to stream directly from a tablet. I was excited once that started. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we went from, like, dozens of new streamers every day to hundreds of new streamers every day, pretty much overnight. Oh, I knew that was going to happen, too. As soon as that happened, I'm like, holy crap, everybody's going to be streaming because everybody has the ability to be able to stream, pretty much. Um, yeah, and I was a little worried, actually, because we put it out as a beta to the Camcord Heroes, and, like, no one was using it. And I was like, oh, man, what the fuck? Like, did we totally misread this? And then now we put it out, like, literally same day, 10, 15 times on normal traffic. It's like, oh, man, we're good. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. I'm like, man, this this app's going to be huge. I'm excited. Because I went to the, the app beforehand, and I was able to record a few videos and stuff, which was kind of cool. But then the streaming happened, and I'm like, oh, hells yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so what's your favorite sport slash team? Do you, uh, are you into sports at all? Yeah, I like uh, football and hockey, my big two. Um, I like MMA as well. That's, what? I would say my big three. Hockey, football, MMA. Uh, and I like my home teams, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Philadelphia Flyers. And for MMA, I, I like a lot of different fighters. But, um, uh, you know, John Jones, Anderson Silva are probably my, my top two. Ronda Rousey, of course. Uh, even though she lost, she's still my girl. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where that's at. Um, it's not really a sport, but I like professional wrestling a lot as well. Yeah, um, 
I haven't really been into MMA, but I'm a very big football fan. That would be like uh, Seahawks for me. But I'm, I have nothing against the Eagles, though. Well, we haven't really had much of a rivalry with the Seahawks and the Eagles. No, no. Um, my uh, my main team that I'm really against is the Panthers. Down with the Panthers, yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> they just. So what's the uh, what's the origin of that rivalry? You know. Um, well, with the whole Panthers thing, in, in, in my opinion, is, is like uh, last year we played them and our headsets were out for two full quarters. And they've, uh, they've had a, a very, uh, very random headset outage every time somebody comes to their stadium. You're kidding. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a very common thing to happen at the Panther Stadium. Oh, that's some bullshit right there. Oh, yeah. Because, like, the first two quarters... That's how it was. Our headsets were completely out, and we were getting our asses kicked. Once we got the headsets fixed, we almost made a, a spectacular comeback. We almost still won, uh, won that game after we were able to talk to our players. That's, that's how it goes. Um, so uh, how was your life growing up? And how, did you grow up in, uh, like, the, the California area? Yeah, I, I grew up in Philadelphia. Um, spent most of my life there. Growing up was, was pretty good. Um, and my family came from a poor family, but, you know, they, both my parents were college educated teachers. So we were, you know, like lower into middle class, I guess. Uh,